Hello, welcome to the Curiosity Show. In today's program, we'll introduce you to some fascinating people. One of them is an ancient Greek named Archimedes. So why don't you stay with us and enjoy the show? Curiosity. Have you ever heard of Archimedes? Well, he was the chap who jumped out of his bath and ran down the street shouting, Eureka! Because he'd found the answer to a problem. In fact, he found the answer to many problems in his day, including how you pump water or grain from a low container into a high container. In fact, he invented a sort of pump. These days, that doesn't sound like much. You just go out and buy a pump and plug it in and turn it on. But in those days, there was no petrol, no electricity. And in fact, Archimedes was the first to invent a really efficient pump that could do the job. And it's still known today as Archimedes screw. And it's still used today. You've probably used one, because that is an Archimedes screw of a kind, a wood bit. You see, if it's drilling a hole in the wood, it's chewing up the shavings down at the bottom, but they would jam it in the hole unless it got rid of them and it takes them all the way up the spiral groove and spits them out of the hole at the top. That's an Archimedes screw at work. You can't see it down inside a piece of wood, so what I've done here is to bring in a glass tube, which is the barrel, and I'll put the screw down inside it, and you can see that as I turn it, that's now an Archimedes screw in action. One of the things it was and is used for today is to transport grain. So let's poke it into this wheat bowl and see what happens as we turn it. You can see through the transparent walls of the barrel, as I turn it, the bit's not going in, but the grain is climbing up that groove. And it keeps on going until eventually it reaches the top of the barrel, and I think when it does that, you'll see, it comes out into my hand. And here it comes now. So I'm actually pumping grain from that bottom container up into my hand, and it's coming out the top. Now, that's a very useful device, and as I said, it's still used today. But how would it work on water? Well, this one, not very well. It's not airtight, and the water would uh, run between the screw and the barrel. So we'd have to do a bit better than that. In fact, there are people who can make them so accurately out of bits of wood that they will pump water around. But I wouldn't expect you to, because I can't, and we have to go to an Archimedes screw of a slightly different kind. And it's made out of something like that, a cylindrical core and ordinary old hose pipe. Now, a garden hose works perfectly, but you can't see what's going on, so I've used transparent hose here. One word of warning, if you make the core too fine, the hose will flatten out as it goes around. So if you're using big hose, go for a big core. Something like an old uh, tennis ball tin will do the job beautifully. There we are, and it just wraps around, and you do a very tight coil. And I've got one already made. It's as simple as can be, and it's just like this. I've tied that down with wire at one end, and it just coils all the way up like a spring, and it's tied down with wire at this end. And just like the real thing, I've put a crank handle on this end so I can turn it. Let's see how it gets on with water. OK, there's a lake at the bottom of the hill, and it's full of water. And just so you can see what's happening, I'll colour it blue with some food colouring. That should do the job. We'll be able to see that climbing in the tube. And now I'll bring in my upper tank here that I'm going to pump the water into. And bang in Archimedes tube. I just stir up that lake so it's a more even blue colour. Now watch what happens. As I turn that, the end of the tube dips into the water, and as the end of the tube comes up, the water has to flow down inside that tube. And there it is. It's down in the bottom of the first coil. And as I keep turning it, it's going to keep running down. So paradoxically, because the water's always running down, it's being forced up the tube, coil by coil. Here we go again. Next coil with a bit in it. Next coil with a bit in it. And every turn I make, I collect a little bit of water down the bottom of a coil. And they rise one by one up the tube. Let me turn that around and show you. You can see about five coils have now got blue water in them. Well, that takes a long while, but every turn I take it brings me one coil closer to the top. So I'll keep going for a bit. And it's just about ready. If I hold it up, you can see the liquid's filling all the bottom part of each coil, and it's up to there. So a couple more turns, or something like that, you should see it come out of the spout at the top. Here we go, coming around now. The first drops are appearing. And with every turn, I'll get a little bit more spilling out from the bottom tank into the top. Well, a very laborious, that one, that one because it's uh, a narrow tube. You can make a lot faster screws by using thicker tube, like garden hose, on a bigger core. If I put that in, you'll see it works magnificently. One dip and two dips, and we've already got 
that amount of liquid trapped and on its way up. So that's an Archimedes screw you can make and use at home. You